an audience, never been good, but I'll do my best. Um, I, why did we, I did go through the process of um, the Six Sigma program? Using my own money, my own vacation leaves, um, after establishing the ISO 9001 2008 version of MaxiCare last 2013, we noticed we had a finding in, in continuing improvement, clause 10. So I said, how do we solve this? Most of my people have already resigned. I was the only one left. So I said, you know what? The hell, uh, I might as well um, save money or take a loan, get into uh, Dean Six Sigma. And thank God, he was my classmate in the strategic program in Atneo, Center for Continuing Education. I think you remember that, you were a seatmate. He said, I was thinking of getting into Miss Bam, a uh, 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 BIM. BIM. And I said, he gave me a card. Why not try iCAD? I mean, so I said, you know, why not? So again, and then it's just, um, it's uh, much closer and uh, much more affordable than Atneo. So again, I'll try it. And uh, I said, I've never been through uh, white belt or even yellow belt. I said, so I might as well take the, you know, the program. After taking the program, met new friends, I said, I'm going to establish this uh, project. How to improve the corrective action report or the correction preventive action report to, um, to um, um, how do you say, correct and prevent reoccurrence of non-compliance or audit findings. So what's the best way? First place, I need to train registered nurses and doctors how to do root cause analysis. I'm not going, I'm not going uh, how do you say this, train them into uh, very difficult in seven QC tools like that. They will not listen to me. So I said, let's start with five Ys. And um, uh, Ishikawa diagram, that's easy. And then I said, okay, train them that. Train them with the fishbone. And um, um, test it out if they learn. Most of them failed. And then try again. Then about 85% pass. They said, okay, good. And then we can move on uh, to make it 100 as uh, the months go by. Then I noticed they would give me action reports or corrective action report, missing um, the true root process or the true audit findings. So I said, okay, let's go back to let's do an investigation and, and analyze the problem. What is the root cause? It's using um, what I learned from uh, um, the Six Sigma circuit, which I sometimes made a mistake, but I, through uh, after Arthur's help, I was able to um, finish it. And um, we noticed that the uh, one way to solve the uh, most of the problems is to make sure all the fields in the corrective action report was completed with the risk analysis, which is the probably the hardest part because um, they're not really trained in risk. So um, after um, two years, and my apologies why it took so long because I was going after other certifications at the same time. But you know, I did it, got my green belt, and um, we our savings for uh, no. We first place, we brought down the cards or CPARs from about 50 plus per quarter to down to about 15. So that's pretty good, 15 per, car, uh, per quarter. And after that, um, it from varies from systems, people, processes. Except for one, we were not able to do um, a, a risk analysis about this transfer of certain building in Binondo because uh, we were growing to, um, quite big and our master tower in Salcedo Street wasn't able to hold us in. Uh, we didn't know that um, the infrastructure wasn't that up to date and the ICT systems. So that was the only one that missed the mark, but we fixed that already. And um, our savings at that time, when it started, was about 560 plus thousand pesos. Now it's going to grow, 560,000 pesos, and it's going to grow eventually to probably 1.2 million. So that's good. Um, then um, um, my Unfortunately, my um, the, my um, how this uh, my backer, the f former president Jose Pastor Puno, has resigned. But he said, "Go for it." He gave the um, the new president uh, my blessing, uh, his blessing that uh, even though Brandon is this is not uh, this is not a MaxCare program, he paid for it. It's still good for MaxCare. So uh, we passed, and um, we also passed the ISO 9000 2015 version, and no no NCs this time. Zero. Zero NCs. Zero. Yeah. So, got it. And now, uh, I guess uh, you have questions. Uh, please feel free to ask me. Yes. Okay. So, I'm part of the internal audit team.